This is Robert Plank from WebsiteRemote.com and I want to show you how to get the bird's eye view and control all your websites at once. So quick question, have you ever set up WordPress sites before? Probably. Have you set up test sites? For sure. Is it possible that there are some sites that you haven't even logged into in the past couple days, past couple weeks, months, maybe even years? Maybe you have some websites that you don't even know exist, right? Maybe you set them up and you thought, oh yeah, there was that domain, there was that folder, there was that blog test one, blog test two. Well, this is the place where you can keep track of all those things. Right now I'm managing six sites and some of them are uh, out of date and things like that. So I can see, okay, well, which of my websites are up and running and have everything, and which of them don't. I can see right now I have uh, some websites need WordPress to update. Some of my sites need plugins to update. I can easily compare my sites. Well, actually, first of all here, I can see everything that needs updating. If I only care about that, I can go through and I can see here are all the sites and I can select all and update WordPress on all these sites where sometimes it's 13 months old, sometimes it's two years old. I can go here and I can see what plugins I'm using and I can see, well, hmm, on some places it's out of date on two different sites, some places it's out of date on four different sites. So I can go and update just this one plugin across all my sites or I can update all plugins across all sites. I can see the themes I'm using, so maybe those are out of date too. I know that I always forget to update my themes. So I could either just go and say, I want to update just my themes, I want to update just my plugins, or maybe you want to get more fine tuned than that. I can see and compare all my websites, I can see what versions of what things are running on my sites, what themes, what need updating, stuff like that. I can compare the themes themselves and I can say, okay, well, I know that I like the theme that I'm using on, say, Dropship CEO, and I want to do it on the rest, so now I know what theme to activate on all my other sites. And I can just go on down the list, and if I happen to have that theme installed, I can just go ahead and activate that. I can compare my plugins, so I can say, well, here's all the plugins that are out of date, and here are all my websites, and I can see, okay, Robert Plank has all these plugins here, and I can kind of compare which plugins does one of my sites have that the other ones don't. We have this area here where I can add a header or a special footer code to all of my sites or to specific sites. So I can say for this Dropship CEO site right here, I can see the plugins that are here and I can update individual ones or turn them on or off, or I can add special header code or special footer tracking code to just this one particular site. So let me show you how easy it is to use Website Remote. I'm going to start off, and I already have a few sites in my list here, uh, but let's just say that you started off and you had no sites yet. All you'd have to do is you'd say, and maybe if you had a list of sites, you could list them all at once, but I'm just going to say that I have my site membershipnewbie.com. I'm going to type that right in there, and we're going to uh, use that in our Website Remote site. And what it's going to do is there's going to be a little bit of a de delay this time because uh, the plugin's not there. We can see this here, and this says the website remote plugin is not installed. So we have to log into our website remote website and add this plugin so that we can send some commands to it. So here we go. Right click and save this to your desktop. All right. Right click, save link as, and put it on the desktop. All right. Then we log into our uh, WordPress site here that we want to control remotely and we can just go to our dashboard we can go to plugins add new we already have some plugins on here I think but we can upload a plugin we can browse for the plugin here for website remote okay click install now activate it and now that it's on here we can see that it says you're almost ready to respond but now we have to go and log back into Website Remote. So we'll do that, and we'll close some of this, and we'll reload the page here again, and we'll let it go and talk to all of our sites, whether that's one, five, 10, 100, 1,000. It's gonna go out and talk to our websites here. And once it's loaded, now see membershipnewbie.com, it's talking to it, and if anything on, on Membership Newbie is out of date, uh, looks like, 
Well, it looks like we have one plugin out of date, but other than that, it's doing pretty well. Uh, so this way we can see all in one single location what's going on with all of our sites all at once. And I can look at and I can kind of unpack and see, OK, well, this site is running these three plugins. Here's the one that's out of date. I could just click on that and it would update just that one plug. And I can see uh, everything about the site. I can see what kind of software it's running and all that. And to even make sure that it's working the way you want it to, I can log out of the site called Membership Newbie. See, I'm on Membership Newbie. I'm logged out. There's even a login link and everything. Now I can go over to my website remote area where I can just go and have it. Um, we can have it. Let's see. We'll go to the home page. And it'll go and talk to our sites again, so we can and we can even see uh, from the screen like which websites are up and running or not, right? Because if there's any bad icons here, like uh, Income Machine here, what's wrong with that? We just don't have Website Remote installed. Uh, Webinar Crusher here, we're just missing some some details. So let's say this Membership Newbie site. I want a one-click login. I can click on Login. Now I'm logged back in. See now there's no. Uh, there's no login link. It says I'm Robert Plank. I can go and check out the dashboard and everything else. OK, and if I ever want to get back to website remote, boom, there we go right in there. So I can um, go back to my membership newbie site. I can log out again. I'll show you one more time. We're logged out of our membership newbie site. I'll go back. Now we're logged out. There's no Robert Plank at the top. There's no log out. I can only log in. So I go to log in. Shoot. I don't even know my password. It's not saved. I'm not sure if I feel secure typing my password on this computer. No big deal. We can just go to Website Remote and any site we control using Website Remote gives us a one-click login functionality without having to know our username or our password. So let me show you. Here's Membership Newbie. I can just go and click Login and then boom. Now again, Robert Plank's back. I have the ability to log out. I uh, see I can log out here. I can go and I can edit my post, change my plugins up. Uh, and so what's great about this, what's great about Website Remote is that you can do a lot of things remotely. But if you uh, if, if you find something like maybe you need to tweak settings on one particular plugin, if there's something like that that needs to happen remotely, you don't have to go and log in every time. You can just go to this one dashboard, click on one link, and then instantly just jump to that one site right there. So the place to go to get this is WebsiteRemote.com, where you can manage all your WordPress sites from one location. You get one master login, an all-in-one dashboard, update plugins, themes, WordPress itself, and developer rights are included. You can manage this with websites you own or get paid to manage websites for others. Right now at the moment, there's a 50 site license for $17 every 30 days, a 100 site license if you want to manage up to 100 WordPress sites, or if you have more than that, for $47 every 30 days, you can manage an unlimited number of personal or clients or business WordPress sites. I'm Robert Plank from WebsiteRemote.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.